Well, good morning. It's not quite 10 o'clock yet, but it is Friday. It's, can you even believe it's October 1st? Holy moly. And it feels like October 1st outside my neck of the woods. Um, but anyway, uh, it is Friday morning and it's fun stamping. And I hope that I have some of my friends with me. And if not, I know they'll pop on later on when you, they can. You can watch it later on my YouTube channel or a replay on my Facebook page. So if you're there, hop on and say hello. I would appreciate that. Um, I've got a fun card to show you today, actually two. <clears throat> so we'll just wait, let me have a little swig of my water. I'll get my water container. I got some, um, some uh, stickers for my granddaughter and she went to town on my water bottle, but look at how cute these are. Drink water, like I need to be told that. But anyway, okay, um, here we go. It is 10 o'clock. Uh, so it, this is the official start of Fun Friday Stamping. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to make a really simple, beautiful cut. I think these are beautiful. Let me pull these over. These are using the Peaceful Cabin um, stamp set and the corresponding dies. And let me just show you, let me pull this back over here. Let's go over here. And whoops, what did I do here? There we go, there and then here. Now let's do this. Okay, so here is the stamp set right here. Peaceful Cabins right here. I always do this to the left and the right. Anyway, here it is. It's a beautiful stamp set. And yes, it does have a winter effect to it because it's in the current mini catalog and we're obviously in the fall season. But it could be used for anything. It could be used for, you know, fall, any season. But this is the stamp set. And then let me pull, okay, let me bring this back up here. And then let me go here and let me show you the dies that go with it. Okay, so these are the dies that go with it. Lots of different dies in here. And I have to tell you a funny little story, too. Um, okay, so these are the dies. There's one, an intricate design for the cabin. Um, this is the gate. This is another uh, one of the birds. Here's some stars that I have to tell you a funny story. And then these are some cutouts. Look at how cute these are. These little tiny trees right here. These trees right here. And I'll show you what these look like. Look at how cute these look like. These look. I haven't played with them enough to um, to make a, a, a card or a project yet, but I will. But I think these are stinking cute. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of different things in here. And actually, the ones that I'm going to be using today are um, what I like to call landscape dies. These are kind of like landscape dies. And I'll show you what I mean by that when I get to the point where we actually cut them out. But these are also included. I've just cut them out because I have to use them, obviously. So anyway, these are the cards. I did one in Cherry Cobbler and I did one in Garden Green. And I also used the Designer Series paper that was in the uh, Celebration catalog. This is called Peaceful Prints. And this is really, really pretty. This is the one that's got the reindeer on it, and it's got some really beautiful colors here as well. Um, but this is what I used. But you could use any designer series paper that you've got. You know, any holiday paper would work well for as a background. So um, this is what they look like. Let me just bring these back up. Let me bring them back up. So the one I'm going to show you is, well, first of all, let me pull this one up so you can see this one a little bit closer. There is that. And you notice that I've got three little stars on here. Well, this is really funny. So, hi, Jean. Good morning. Thank you so much for popping in. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Friday Stamping. Hi, Gail. Thank you so much. Happy October. I know. Can you believe it's October? Holy moly mackerel. Anyway, this is the funny story. So, as I told you, I haven't done a lot of playing with this stamp set and the dies yet. But yesterday, um, or yesterday, two days ago, my friend Laurie was over, and we were looking at some cards, and she saw a card that had some really tiny little stars in it, and I said, I have no idea where those were from. Well, lo and behold, this is the die from the Peaceful Cabins bundle, and this, I think, are the stars that, uh, Laurie, you might be referring to. And so what I did was I punched some out and I put them on here. I used some iridescent paper and I um, pulled it and I, you know, cut them out. So, hi, Ann. Oh, I'm so happy that you could join me this morning. Thank you for popping in. 
So that's what those are right there. So that's that little die. So let me put that away. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to, and here's the, the uh, red version, the, the uh, cherry cobbler version. And again, I put the stars on it as well. See my little puff of smoke coming from the chimney? I'll show you how to do that too. Okay, so first thing is obviously you need a base and the base is cherry cobbler. Let me bring in my little grid paper here so we can cover up the the uh, light up from above. And then I'm gonna take it, obviously I've already cut it and scored it. And then I'm gonna take my little tool, you know, this is all not of interest. Hi Nancy, good morning, thank you for popping in. So there is that. Then the next thing I did was, normally what I would do would take a, I would take a layer which would be five and a quarter by four. But on this one, what I did was I made it five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And I'll show you why. Good morning, Paula. I love this stamp set too. That's why we're playing with it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little silicone mat and some of my still, I still got snail girls. I'm still using it. I'm gonna use it till it's all gone and add some adhesive here. And then I'm going to layer this on top of my base. Hi, Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. I know some of you ladies are at work. I know that for a fact. Wait a minute. Is this the right piece? Did I get the right piece here? Oh, wait a minute. I think I got the wrong piece. That's the ins that's the um, that's from the inside. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. Let me add some adhesive to this. Oh, I have to show you something too. I just noticed this on my cardstock. <clears throat> can you see? I don't know if you can see this, but can you see right here? this little bit of fraying. Can you see that fraying right there? You know what that means? That means that my mat needs to be replaced on my cutter. So I'm gonna to have to do that. I just noticed that on some of these pieces of paper that I cut late last night. So yeah, that, that just means that it just needs to be replaced. Okay, so here we go. That's much better. So this is gonna be a tiny little border of cherry cobbler right around like that. And I'll show you why. Don't tell, <laughs> I won't tell anybody, Lisa, that you snuck on, because some people are at work. I know some people at work, but we're not going to mention any names. We don't want anybody to get in trouble. Okay, the next thing I did was I took a piece of this designer series paper. This, again, this was from the, um, cell whoa, <laughs> I just dropped a whole bunch of paper. Okay, this was um, Peaceful Prints from the Celebration Catalog. But again, you can use any designer paper that you have that's appropriate. And I did run it through um, my uh, Stampin' Cut machine using the rectangular, stitched rectangles. And I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm going to bring that up. You can see the stitching. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that. I looked at it afterwards and said, you know, I don't know if I really need that, that stitching. And especially because this was a gingham plaid, I could cut very nicely along the straight edges. But anyway, that's that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on. I'm ha having to hide these little cute deer. They're adorable, but they're going to be used for another project. And I'm going to put this on like this. And see, this gave this an extra little bit of a border, which I kind of liked. I, I definitely like to have a little bit more of that border there. Okay, then, now this is the fun part. All right, so I have here in front of me three pieces of cardstock, and these pieces of cardstock measure, I think it's three and a half inches, three and a half, no, three and a quarter inches by a four and a half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one aside because that's going to be the base. Let me bring the card back in so you can see. That's going to be this piece right here, and then I'm going to take this one and I am going to stamp it with the trees. So let me bring in the trees. Here's the tree stamp. <coughs> and let me get my basic gray ink. And let me ink this up. Now, because this is a what I call a landscape framelit um, die, what I want to make sure is that I stamp my trees to the left hand side of the card of the paper like this so that I have a little bit of this here. If I stamped it here, that would be okay too, but I want it to orient like this. And I want it to orient up to the top of the paper so that the trees actually go right up to the top. So let me show you what I mean. I probably confused you, I didn't mean to. All right, so here we go. Ink it up, 
and then to the left hand side and right to the top. Okay, so there is that. Easy peasy. Now I'm going to take the other piece of cardstock and I'm going to um, ink up the how the cabin. Where is the cabin? What did I, oh, here it is right here. Again, I'm going to put this cabin on the left hand side because again, I want to have the landscape. I want to have this little hill of snow nicely visible. All right, so I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to put it not all the way to the bottom, but like like about right there. And there is that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of scrap paper. Let me move this over to the side. Let me move this over to the side. Whoa, whoa, I got a piece of paper where it shouldn't be. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on one second. Whoa. I got some, <laughs> hold on one second, wait a minute. One minute here, folks. Okay. So here's a piece of scrap paper, and then I'm going to take the gate and ink that up and stamp it. So now I have my three images, this, this, and this. The house, the trees, and the gate, okay? Now, I'm going to go over to my Stampin' Cut machine and cut everything out. And voila, voila, by the power of pre-prepping, here they are. I've already cut them out. So let me just show you what this looks like when you put it on with the framelit, like this. So you're going to cut it, put it, lay, layer it like that, cut it out, and then it comes out looking like this. All right, so there are the trees. And then here is the house, the cabin. And what we're gonna do with the cabin is put this on like this, just like this, run it through, and voila, this is how it comes out. All right, easy peasy. That and that, and then the same thing, obviously, with the gate post, you just cut that out. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring back my piece of cardstock, which is, what did I do with it? You know what, I've lost it again. Because <laughs> one piece one piece has a piece of, um, oh, wait a minute, here it is, here it is, I got it, okay. All right, we're good now, here we go. So now what I'm gonna do is first, I'm going to put my trees on. And I'm going to put my trees on with my adhesive. So let me bring in my little silicone pad. And this is going to have some adhesive right here, here, and here. And then I'm going to put this right to the bottom. Now again, this is the same. Uh, this is a, the same size, three and a quarter by four and a half. Three and a quarter by four and a half. Let me just make sure that's right. Four and a half by three and a quarter. Yep. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my house and some dimensionals. And I'm going to add dimensionals to this. And this is where I actually like to use strips of dimensionals, but this one is a brand new package, so I'll just use this for right now. But I uh, typically I would use a strip of um, dimensional right there because I can and because it's easy. And there we go. So that's that. Let me take this, this off. Little pieces of paper. Isn't that a gorgeous day today? I'm so happy that my window here, I can see right outside and the sky is so blue and the trees are green with little hints of fall color coming. Beautiful. Of course, all those leaves are gonna fall, then we're gonna have to rake them. Ha ha ha. All right, anyway, here we go. So now I'm gonna take my cabin and I'm gonna put it right down to the bottom, just like that, all the way over to the side, just like that. Now see, that's popped up. See that? Can you see it? Popped up. Now, what I'm going to do is, I am going to take my little fence, and here is where I am going to take a strip of, um, let me see if I have, oh, I do, I do, I do, look at that. I have a strip right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this, and I'm going to cut this off like this, and I'm gonna use this little piece right here, pull this piece right off, 
By the way, I've lost my pick-me-up tool. I don't know what I did with it. I wonder if it, end, if it ended up in somebody's bag this week with my classes. I can't find my pick-me-up tool. Okay, anyway, stop belly aching, Barbara. Here we go. So here's the gate post, and I'm going to put that on just like that. How cute is that? Ta-da! Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and add some adhesive to this. And voila, another step done. Bring back my piece of paper like this, my card baby. Yep, there we go, I wanted to make sure. I was doing this the other day and I put it on upside down. But remember, there are no mistakes in Stampin' Up. We simply took some dental floss and shimmied that little layer right off and no problem whatsoever. Okay, so now that's on. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring in my Winky. Winky, oh, you know what, before I do that, let me take season's greetings. Now this, I love, I just love this font. This is the one, hi Gwen, nice to pop on. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is from the Christmas Whimsy Kit, which is sold out currently, but they are going to be restocking them, which I love because I love this stamp set. But anyway, let me just ink this up and I'm gonna put season's greetings right up here, just like this. Ta-da, there's that. Then I'm going to take my Winky <clears throat> and I'm just going to start coloring my trees. All my trees. Now, you know what else you could do if you wanted? You could take some iridescent ice and use some uh, Tombow glue. Let the Tombow dry to the tacky stage and then you could throw on some iridescent ice to make this real glittery. You could do that or you could do it like I'm doing right here with my winky, which is very easy. And I'm gonna do the whole house too. Let's see, this this, uh, this looks like uh, might, there we go. I miss you too, Gwen. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, hold on one second, folks. I forgot to put the chimney, the smoke coming out of the chimney. So let's get that done. Let me just see. I think I need a new winky. Let me get a new winky. I go through Wink of Stella like there's no tomorrow. I don't know about the rest of you, but I am a Wink of Stella freak. I love it. So here is my Winky. Let me get this out. And let me take this off. Take the little black ring off. Put this back on. Engage it into the chamber. Click, click, click. Give it a little shakerini. Squeeze it until it comes into the chamber. Let's get it, here we go. There we go, okay, there we go. There we go, it's always nice when you have a nice new, whoa, Barbara, that's a lot of winky, holy moly. That, there we go, woo! Let's get this moved around real quickly because one thing about winky, if you don't uh, move it around quickly, it can pool and make it look a little bit um, grayish, but that's okay, here we go, this is, there we go. Oh, look at how pretty that looks. Okay, so now we gotta get the little flame, the little smoke, the white smoke um, coming from the chimney. So I take a cotton ball, love Winky, yep, love it. And normally what I would have done was I would have put a little bit of um, Tombow right behind the chimney. And you know what, let me just see if I can get, yes, I can. Let me go over to my, here we go. Here's a winky. I mean, here's some Tombow. So normally I would have put it on like this. Good morning, Carol Liberto. Okay, so there, I put a little bit of Tombow in there and now I'm gonna stick my um, smoke right down in here. Normally, like I said, I would do this before I put my little cabin on because it would look much better, but I forgot. But remember, there are no mistakes in Stampin' Up, folks, none at all. So let me just tuck this in to make this look like it's coming out. There we go. How cute is that? Like that. How cute is that? See, there's smoke coming out. That's a lot of smoke coming out, but maybe I'll trim it down a little bit later on. I'll just trim it down. I'll wait till it completely dries and then I'll just trim a little bit of that out. But, cause that is a lot. But 
but that's okay. So then what I wanted to do to finish this off, and you know, the funny thing was last night I was saying, you know, it needs something else. It needs something else. And that's when I found this die with the little stars on it. And I said, oh my gosh, this is, ex good morning, Priscilla. Thanks for popping on. Thank you so much. So this is what I used with some iridescent, um, with some iridescent paper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little drop of fine tip glue here and one here and maybe one like right here. And then let me put this back in. Cute. The house might be on fire. You're right. I've got to take that. You're right, Priscilla. I've got to get that smoke stack. I mean, that smoke coming out of there. Not as bright. Now, because I can't find my pick me up tool, I don't know where it is. I'm going to use my finger. And I've already got these cut out. See, I've already got them cut out, those three little stars. I mean, five little stars. Good morning, Dee. Thank you so much for popping on. Okay, so here's my finger. And then I'm just going to put it down like that. That works. I do like my, my uh, fine tip. I mean, I do like my fine tip um, glue. And I also love my pick-me-up tool. But I don't know where it is. I'll find it. But there you have it. So there is that. Yeah, let's trim. Let's see if I can trim this up just a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Because it is going to bother me. We'll be calling the fire department. There we go. But you get the idea. See, normally you would put this on before you put your little house on. That's better. Okay, now I have to do the inside. So what the inside is, now this is the piece that I messed up on. I already put the uh, I already put the adhesive on this. So let me put the put it right in because obviously I can't stamp on it because the adhesive's on it and it will flip right onto the uh, my pad and I won't be able to get well I will be able to get it out on my silicone pad. But there we go. So there is that. Then I'm going to take the message that says, I have it here somewhere. Um, what did I do with it? Let me move that out of the way. For some reason, this is, oh, here it is, right here. I love this saying. It says, may, may you enjoy the peace of this beautiful season. So again, with some smoky slate ink. Is it smoky slate? No, it's basic gray. Basic gray. So let me, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. And then I'm going to stamp it. Now I'm going to make a bunch of these. So I would be using my Stamparatus for sure um, with this. But there is that. And then, you know what I could do if I wanted? I could even put, look at that. What do you think? Should I put this little tree inside like this? I could put a little tree like that, just like that. What do you think? Too much? Not enough? I think I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. Why not? Let me add a little bit of... Uh, color to the inside of this card. Thank you. I think it's very pretty too. It actually, it's my own design. Shock of all shocks, folks. It is my own design. Um, but, you know, I get a lot of inspiration from things that I see on Pinterest and what other people do. But let me just put this in right here. Oh gosh, I just think, yeah, how cute is this? Just a little pop of color. And Carol Liberta would like 10 of those. Okay, Carol, five and five, love it. So there you have it. There is this. And then, of course, the envelope has to be decorated. And the envelope was, is just, I just stamped the uh, little trees on it like that. So there it is. This is the card that I'm going to be doing next week on Monday and Tuesday morning. So next Monday evening at five o'clock. And then Tuesday morning. At 9.30 in the morning, we're going to do this. We're going to do it in both Cherry Cobbler and Garden Green. Da -da -da -da. Love them. I think, I think they're really pretty. Let me bring this in a little bit closer so you can see it better. Let's bring it there. How's that? There's the green version. And I think those little stars added just enough little extra pizzazz. So there you go. And the Wink of Stella adds a little bit of interest as well. And there's the inside. I think it's really cute with the little tree. I think I'm going to do that. All right, my friends. So that's it for today. Now, I have to tell you that today is October 1st. We all know it's October 1st. Let me put my, let me put my fine tip glue uh, stylus back in. Because you know if you don't do that, 
then what happens is the inside of it, the lumen, gets all clogged up with the uh, glue, and then lo and behold, you can't get it, you can't use it anymore. For some reason, I'm having trouble. Normally, I don't have any trouble getting it in. There. <laughs> Holy mac. No, nobody better make a comment about that. Well, maybe I'll have to. There we go. There we go. Done deal. Okay, done. Love the stars and the sparkle. Nice job. Thank you, Priscilla. Yes, yeah, so this is October 1st. This is the beginning of our new Stampin' Up! year. So for us demonstrators, it's another brand new year. It's a brand new start. And for all of my friends, it's the beginning of fall and the fall holidays and all kinds of fun things. I am going to be doing a class on Saturday, October 23rd um, here at my house. We're going to be making using the um, Nature's Harvest. Here it is, Nature's Harvest stamp set, which I absolutely love. I'm still waiting for the dies. The dies were on back order, and I, I just missed ordering the whole thing the kit, the bundle, and, and but anyway, they're on their way and they're gonna be here next Tuesday. So next week I will show you this project that we're gonna do. We're gonna make some beautiful cards using the cork paper and it's gonna be really pretty. So Saturday, October 23rd, I'll have more information on my newsletter um, about it and the prices and what you're gonna be getting for our a, for a pro, for a, uh, products as well. So I hope you can come. All right, my friends, so that's it for today. I hope you have a beautiful weekend. It looks like weather-wise here in New England, it's going to be very lovely. So get out and pick some apples, make some applesauce, go get some apple cider donuts or whatever you like. And uh, I will see you next Friday. And thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate your support. It means a lot. Have a great weekend. I love you all. Namaste. Bye-bye.